I think there are three things that you need to think about when you're acquiring customers. Number one, who are your customers? These are enterprises or consumer. Do you know, if it is consumer, do you know about the age group that they belong to, social, uh, social class that they belong to? You should know everything about the customer that you're acquiring. You should have very good definition of the target market that you are targeting. That's number one. Number two, what channel you're going to use to reach out to these customers? Is it going to be web? Is it going to be feet on the street? Is it going to be through a partners? So you have to have a very good understanding of what method of communication you're going to use to reach out to your customer. That's number two. And the third is people and processes, which is who are going to the people in your company reaching out to these customers? This is going to be your salespeople or is it going to be automated process? And then the process around you know, onboarding these customers to your product. Once you have very clear definition of these three points, which is target market, the method that you use to reach out to your customers, and third, you know, what people and processes you are going to use inside your organization, you can start iterating. So you, you do the first version where you reach out to a set of beta customers and see you know, what your cost of acquisition is. If you have good understanding of the customer, you'll be able to iterate your product. You'll make your, com your, your, your channel become better, and you are going to make your processes become bigger. And then you iterate, a couple of iterations, your cost of acquisition starts going down over a period of time. You have good cost of acquisition. You're, you're, you're acquiring customers with good speed uh, at, uh, at, at, without having to spend too much money in acquiring the customers.